quick is just a couple of things I want to bring out real quick about this scripture that stuck out to me. And that was when Jesus said, he told them to go into the village and immediately as you enter, there will be a coat that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it. If anyone says to you, what are you doing with this? Just say the Lord needs it. The Lord needs it and he will send it back immediately. All right. What this scripture kind of told me, you know, uh, like I said, I'm a realist. So I'm not like the type of church person that will get up and try to, you know, put on a face like I'm perfect and uh, I have everything going on and I'm doing everything that, that God wants me to do. Uh, I honestly believe that the church is here for those of us who struggle with our day-to-day -day issues. Uh, what I have found out in the church is that people are more concerned with looking the part instead of actually living the part. And that's kind of what churches kind of symbolize today. Everybody wants to look like they have it going on. They don't have no issues. They've never done this. They've never done that. And in the meantime, those people with issues who the church is really there for right. feel like they aren't good enough to come into church and worship and fellowship right. yeah. with people in the church. Yeah. I am past that. And, and like I said, this scripture brought up certain things to me. All right, so... In the scripture, it called it a cult. Some of us know it as a donkey. Some of us know it as, a, we might call it a mule. Some of us might call it an ass. It's in the Bible. King James Version. But, but, but the one thing to know about what, you know, the fact that Jesus used this animal was it reminded me of me. And a lot of people who go to church. And it's something I want you to get out of this. If anybody knows anything about a donkey or an ass. It's an untamed animal. It's very stubborn. It won't really do too much of anything. Without you making it do it. Now that was a point right there somebody needed to get. Now, remember those things. It's stubborn. It won't do anything you want it to do, and you almost have to beat it to get it to do what you want it to do. Now, Jesus decided to use this animal with all these issues to ride into town. And, 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 and the thing is, even though this animal had all these issues, Jesus decided to use it. Well, I just came today to remind some of you that no matter what your issues are, Jesus is still willing to use you. Doesn't matter how stubborn you are, how much you might not want to do what you're supposed to do. And the crazy part is Jesus loves you enough to beat it out of you even when you won't do it yourself. Sometimes, like I said earlier, church people will have you feeling like you're not worthy enough or you're not good enough to be around them or to fellowship with them. But the next time somebody in church decides to tell you or to look down on you to say you're not good enough, remind them of what Jesus decided to ride in. Jesus rode in on an ass. Not only was it an a, a animal as an ass, but it was a stubborn. I ain't going to say the word, but y'all follow me. And, and guess what? At the end of the day, when you feel like you can't make it, at the end of the day, when you feel like you're not good enough to be in certain people's company, just remember that Jesus will use any and everything. And guess what? The Bible shows it many times. Jesus prefers to use things that everybody else looks aside to. And guess what? I, when you look back at it, it says something about the bystanders. The bystanders said to them, what are you doing untying a coat? Because the truth of the matter is, a coat that isn't tied up 
is a crazy, loose, radical cult. But guess what? That's the way I look at myself sometimes. I need to be untied so that Jesus can, 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 can control some of this radical things I got going on. Even whether it be smoking, drinking, going out, doing whatever. Jesus prefers to use those who other looks at as being untamable. Jesus prefers to use those that others look down on. Jesus prefers to use those that others feel are washed up. Jesus prefers to use those that everybody else might be seeing that you're struggling with. That everybody else might be seeing what you're dealing with. Everybody else sees that all, everybody else can see that all hell is breaking loose in your life. And Jesus is just standing there like, I'm about to untie him. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Guess what? At the end of the day, the one thing that you have to remember is that God doesn't get glory out of people that are too sanctified and, and too holified. God can't get no earthly glory out of any of that. But guess what? Do me a favor. When you get a chance, look at the books of the Bible. And then look up the people who wrote the books of the Bible. You got people who were cursers. You got adulterers. You got fornicators. You got people who dealt with, with, uh, dealt with uh, whoremongering. You got people who dealt with dealt with prostitution. These are the people who actually wrote the books of the Bible. So when you think that you're not good enough, when you think like you don't amount to enough, when you think like you can't stand in, in the company of certain people, remind that Jesus can even, remind yourself that Jesus can even use her ass. Y'all have a good day.